Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. These are scriptures on efficiency. Efficiency, the state or quality of being efficient, can also mean an action designed to achieve efficiency. Can mean organization, order, orderliness, planning, regulation, capability, competence, cost effectiveness, effectiveness, productivity, coherence, ability, proficiency, expertise, professionalism, skillfulness, and skill. I will read the King James Version of Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 24, and the Amplified Version. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. The Amplified Version Do not store up for yourselves material treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart, your wishes, your desires, that on which your life centers will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is clear, spiritually perceptive, your whole body will be full of light, benefiting from God's precepts. But if your eye is bad, spiritually blind, your whole body will be full of darkness, devoid of God's precepts. So if the very light inside you, your inner self, your heart, your conscience is darkness, how great and terrible is that darkness. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon, money, possessions, fame, status, or whatever is valued more than the Lord. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.